Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking wiggle text effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we need to create a new composition and I'm just running with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document and I'm going to bring it down to about 24 frames per second at around 10 seconds in length. Once we've got that, we need to go to Color Hunt to get our colors and all I did is I just downloaded some colors from Color Hunt. So now I'm just going to drag that to the timeline. Now obviously you can do this straight from the website, you don't even need to do this step but I'm just going to keep them here just so I can see my colors. So the first thing that we need is we need to create a new solid for the background and I'm just going to make this color, I'm going to pick the darkest color over here, this color there and I'm just going to put my colors up there just so I can use them a little bit later. Once I've got my background, I then need to add some text. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here to my uh, text tool. Now the font that I'm using is called Bouncy and Bouncy has two variants. It's got a see-through one and a black one. So I'm going to use a combination of both. So I'm just going to click on my screen and I'm just going to write simple wiggle text. Now you can play around with some of the separation between the characters. I find 100 works pretty well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change to the see-through text one as well. Now it doesn't matter where you put this because we're going to cut it up later so and we're going to change the size anyways. So once we have that we need to get the animation of this uh, wiggle text going. So we need to open up the text tab, we need to click on animate and we're going to animate the position. Now we're not going to touch anything just yet but we're going to go to add down here and we are going to add a rotation property and then finally we are going to go to add again and then we are going to add the selector wiggly. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to come over here to position. I'm just going to change this to 25 and change this the rotation to 15% and once we've done that now we've got that wiggle text moving nice and that's looking pretty good. So to add some more stuff we need to go to more options and we're just going to change the grouping alignment. We're going to change this to negative 40% all right and you can see there it's wiggling nice and we're just going to keep adding to it. So this time we are going to add a new animator. So I'm going to come back up to the top and I'm going to go and press on animate and then go to scale. And now I'm going to change that scale to 0%. I'm going to open up the range selector. I'm going to open up the advanced tab and I'm going to change a few things in here. The first thing is I'm going to change the shape to ramp up. Then I'm going to change the randomizer on. And then I'm going to uh, bump up the ease low to about 100. And so now you can see that there's all different sizes for the text. And once we animate this, it's going to look pretty cool. So now we're going to actually do the animation. So what we need to do is we need to, I'm just going to zoom in on my timeline. I'm just going to click on the stopwatch over here, make sure that I'm on the first frame. So I'm going to change that to negative 100%. I'm going to move forward in time to one second and then I'm just going to make it go the other way. And so now if you've done that correctly, the text, you know, kind of comes in nicely together. And what we can do is we can right click on those keyframes and then just go easy ease to give it a little bit uh, smoother motion. So once we've done that, then what we need to do is we need to pre-compose that text layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go pre-compose and I'm just going to call it number one. Now in my sentence I've got three words. So what I need to do over here is I need to duplicate this three times. And so with the other layers I'm just going to drag it down to my timeline. So now what we need to do is we need to come over here. I just need to double click on that first layer and this is going to be our first word. So I'm just going to double click on that and then I'm just going to highlight the rest of the text and then I'm going to delete it. Now before you get out of this layer, what we need to do is we need to move the anchor point. So I'm just going to hold control and double click on this pen behind uh, tool over here and you can see that anchor point is now moved in the center of that text. Then I'm going to go to a line and then I'm just going to make sure that it's in the middle of my composition. And so now I'm going to repeat the process for the next two words.
cool. So once we've done that, then what we need to do is rearrange the letters or the words on the composition. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press V and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to move the first word up. So I'm going to have simple up here and then I'm going to grab the last word, which is text. And I'm just going to drag it down here and I'm going to hold shift so I don't move that middle alignment. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the scale for the wiggle. So I'm just going to bring it up to probably about maybe 170%, something like that. Actually, I might as well bring up the first two words as well. So I'll bring them up to 120. By the way, the shortcut for scale is S. Now what we need to do is I'm just going to move and offset some of these uh, layers by probably about four frames or so. So the next frame or the next layer is going to come in at four frames and then the next one is going to come in at eight frames. So now if you've done that correctly, you will have this uh, cool looking sentence that wiggles and we're still going to add a little bit more to it. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to pre-compose all of those text layers again. So I'm just going to right click, go to pre-compose and I'm going to call it main text uh, one. And now because I've got uh, four different colors, I'm going to duplicate this four times. So I'm pressing control D to duplicate it. So now all we need to do is we need to come over here and we're just going to offset these frames again. So I'm going to bring that to four the next one to 8 and then the final one to 12. And so now it looks exactly the same, but you can start to see the shadows or the, the duplicates in the background. So what we need to do is we need to come over here to our fill. So I'm just going to go to effects and presets, grab our effect called fill and then drag it to our layer. Our first color is going to be this white color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control C and then I'm going to paste it in my next layer. So the next layer, I'm going to use that blue. Then I'm going to do the same and I'm going to paste and then I'm going to put it to that gray. And then finally, the last one will be this dark color like our background. And so now if you've done that correctly, you can now start to see all of the colors behind the text. And that's looking pretty cool. So now the text is wiggling. Now, the final thing that we need to do is I just want to have a little outline on some of these texts. So what we can do is on our first one, which is going to be our white layer, we can right click on this and then go to layer styles and then go to stroke. And I'm just going to open up the stroke settings. And I'm going to change it to, let's say that gray. And so now if I look at that, you can see that now we've got like an outline on that first layer and that's looking pretty cool. So the last thing that we need to do is I'm just going to close up all of that. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm just going to add one final effect. The last effect that I'm going to add is noise. So all I need to do is drag it to the adjustment layer and I'm just going to bump this up to probably about 3% maybe even 4% and you can start to see it's got a little bit of noise in the background and it's it's looking pretty cool. And so I'm just going to get rid of that as well. Now, that's pretty much it for this simple tutorial. If you want to add some more movement to this, then you can always add a scale in by clicking a new null object. And then what we need to do is we're just going to grab all those text layers. We're going to grab the pick whip and then we're just going to come over here and animate that in. So I'm just going to press S for scale, click on the stopwatch. And then at the end of my 10 second animation, I will then bring it up to, let's say, maybe 120, something like that. And so now if we play that back, you will see that this animation over time, it's going to kind of zoom into that animation. But anyways, guys, that's about it for this quick, simple wiggle text tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.